I wonder what Shen Wu is doing right now. The way that a normal toilet works is that when the handle is flushed, it pulls a chain, pulling the flush valve up, and allowing all the water in the upper tank to fill the bowl. As this happens, the water in the bowl is forced up out into the siphon tube and into the sewer system. After that happens, the upper tank will fill back up with water until the filler float touches is gets in contact with the filler valve and the water is stopped. If, however, there's a malfunction and the water keeps filling the upper tank, it will go into the overflow tube, which will simply allow it to go into the bowl and continue going into the sewer system. Now let's take a closer look at these flushing mechanisms in action in a real live toilet. As you can see, the, f the flush mechanism is attached to the chain, which is attached to the flush valve. As you activate the flushing mechanism, the water will drain out of the, the top tank into the bowl, flushing the toilet. Alright, let's take a look at the flush valve. In order for the flush valve to open up, the force of the tension in the chain has to be greater than the force of pressure pushing down on it from the water. Uh, so that, that force of the pressure is equal to pressure times area, where pressure is equal to the gamma of water times the height of water in the tank, and area is equal to pi over 4 d squared, giving us our final uh, force of pressure equation. Here again we have the equation for the force of pressure acting on the flush valve. Um, shown at the top here, being gamma of water times the height of the water in the tank times pi over 4 times the diameter of the flush valve squared. We measured the diameter of the flush valve and found that to be 2.5 inches. We also measured the height of the water in the tank at its maximum to be 8.75 inches. So plugging those values in below, you can see we got a final force of pressure to be 1.55 pounds. Now, let's explore how to flush a toilet with a bucket of water. Whoa. When you pour water into the bowl, you are doing the same thing as pulling the lever to flush. Water rushes into the bowl. As the level rises in the bowl, the water level also rises within the S. At a critical point, the water level rises high enough to go over the hump in the S. Once this happens, a siphon is formed. Water is sucked from the bowl all the way down to the sewer lines as the water flows in the siphon. Once the bowl is emptied, air gets sucked in, which breaks the siphon, and then water continues to flow into the bowl. The air once again blocks the bump in the S and the bowl fills. Now we'll time how long it takes for an average household toilet to flush. Nine point three two seconds. Now let's compare the flow rate of a toilet in ECB to an average household toilet. When averaging or when measuring an average household toilet, we determine that 1.6 gallons of water was flushed in 9.32 seconds, giving us a flow rate of 0.172 gallons per second.